What's up, everyone? Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna use this diagram in LT16 to show you how to describe a cyclical process. So this diagram shows us how plastic bottles are recycled. First of all, let's talk about the overview paragraph. Since this is a cyclical process, it never ends. So don't make the mistake of saying that the process begins with collecting used bottles and ends with producing new plastic products. As I said, it never ends. Instead, we should describe a complete cycle. Let's see what steps are in this cycle. We need to report the main steps in the overview paragraph. The first step is collection, then sorting, then crushing, then washing, or you can say cleaning. Now for this step, of course you can use the original wording, producing plastic pellets. But since this is the overview paragraph, it's better to choose a word that is more general. Here we can just call this step pelletizing. Pelletizing is more general than the original wording and therefore better suits the overview paragraph. Finally, we have this step of producing end products. So we may write our overview paragraph like this. Overall, the recycling of plastic bottles is a cyclical process that consists of collection, sorting, crushing, cleaning, pelletizing, and making new plastic products. There is a big problem here. We don't have a complete cycle. The cycle has not been closed. If there is no cycle, we can call it a cyclical process. To create a cycle, we must include the steps use and reuse. The diagram hints at these two steps by showing the user putting an empty bottle into the bin with no description. Overall, the recycling of plastic bottles is a cyclical process that consists of use, collection, sorting, crushing, cleaning, pelletizing, making new plastic products, and reuse. Now the cycle is complete. This is the right way to write an overview for a cyclical process. Now let's move on to the two details paragraphs. Just like what we did in the overview paragraph, we also need to describe a complete cycle in our details paragraphs. But first of all, how should we group all these steps into the two details paragraphs? I would group the first five steps into the first details paragraph and the last four steps into the second details paragraph. This is because these last four steps are all about using plastic pellets to make plastic products. So I think they should be grouped together. Now the first step. Because we need to have a complete cycle, the first step really shouldn't be to toss bottles into a bin. In order to form a cycle, we should start the process with using plastic bottles and finish the process with reusing them. So we can say, after plastic bottles are used, they are discarded in recycling bins. If you don't have this part, at least you should describe those bottles as used bottles. Now let's add the second step, transportation. Waiting for trucks to transport them to a recycling center. Or we can use recycling plant to avoid copying the original wording. Next, sorting. As you can see, only those bottles that can be reused are compressed into blocks. Once there, they are sorted and those that can be reused are compressed into blocks. The next step is crushing. Yes, you can simply say the blocks are then crushed into small pieces. However, I always find it hard to reach 150 words when describing a process diagram. So I really want to include this machine in my writing. But if I say the blocks are then crushed by a crushing machine, it would sound super repetitive, wouldn't it? Crushing machine is a technical term. We really shouldn't change it. Instead, we can replace the verb crush with the phrasal verb break down or grind up. The blocks are then broken down or ground up by a crushing machine into small pieces. Now let's add the step washing, which are subsequently cleaned. Again, if you have trouble reading 150 words, you can add more information to this step. A common way to add more information to your process diagram essay is to show the purpose of a certain step. What's the purpose of washing those small pieces? You need to interpret this stage a little to get a purpose. The purpose is to remove the residue, which are subsequently cleaned to remove any residue. I will give another example of showing purpose. Let's go back to step two. 
What's the purpose of sorting? The purpose is to separate those bottles that can be reused. So if you want, you can say once there, they are sorted to separate those that can be reused, which are then compressed into blocks. This is the entire details paragraph one. Now let's move on to details paragraph two. Step six is to produce plastic pellets. Note that the small pieces produced in step five are plastic. The pellets produced in step six are still plastic. That is to say, only the form of those small pieces has changed. The substance is still the same. In this case, we can use turning to. Or transforming to to describe this change, the small clean pieces produced in the last stage are then poured into a machine where they are turned or transformed into pellets. Both transform into and turn into are commonly used for changing the form or use of a thing without changing its substance. Also note that in details paragraph one, I used to do to show purpose. Here, I used the where clause to show purpose. You can also use so that the small clean pieces produced in the last stage are then poured into a machine so that they are turned into pellets. But I think where sounds better in this sentence, doesn't it? Now let's go back to this machine. It not only produces plastic pellets, but also heats the pellets to form raw material. If we just copy the original, we will have the machine also heats the pellets to form raw material. Now let's do some variations. We can add the verb melt. The machine also heats and melts the pellets. The original uses to do to show purpose. We can instead use which. Which forms raw material. We can also change form to make or create, which creates plastic raw material. Lastly, let's add step nine. Finally, the raw material is made into different plastic products, including pens, bottles, and reusable shopping bags. Now, if you just end your essay like this, you won't have a complete cycle. Remember, the last step of this recycling process should be reuse. So I will add, after these products are used, they go through the recycling process all over again. Now the cycle is complete. This is the entire essay. I highlighted in red the expressions I used to form a complete cycle, and in blue the expressions I used to show purpose. Hoping that you guys learned something about describing a cyclical process. If you did, make sure you give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Definitely check out this video if you want to learn how to describe a linear process.